Okay, so behind me is, uh, I think, the pagoda, Zhan Chiao, and that's Qingdao's most iconic, iconic thing. <laughs> Iconic structure. Uh, okay, the words escape me now, but that's what it is. I used to come here as a child to. I don't know. What did I do? What did I used to do here when I was a child? Anyways, I used to come here a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go there and see what's going on. I think there's like a marine land or aqua space inside. Um, we'll see. Okay, so we're at Zhan Qiao, and um, you know, I, I think I really should start uh, writing down a dialogue before I recording, before I start recording, because I really have no idea what to say. <laughs> but uh, it's really good. Okay. It's been a really long time since I've stepped foot on this uh, this pagoda. I think there's every couple of feet there's like a vendor offering you to uh, offering to take your photo, you know, with their DSLR and pay them probably like five kwai for a couple of photos and goes up to uh, I think it goes up to tw 12 kwai something like that and you pick these up pick these photos up uh, within a couple of hours and you develop them there's also uh, there's also some homeless guys here I, I don't know what their signs say but I don't know if you can see behind me that's a nice way here I wouldn't know anyone who brings comes here and not bring their own camera. Uh, but it is nice to have someone take your photo, and they they often make you uh, they often make you pose in these ridiculous forms. You know, uh, I saw a woman spread her wings, kind of you know, like a seagull or stuff, and that's one of the popular things to do here. You feed the seagulls. Back in Canada, seagulls, there is nothing special, but over here, well, it's a different breed, but they're still seagulls. Not very interesting. That's like a Navy museum. Uh, I haven't been there yet, but I will. I've been there as a child. You can climb onto the, to the, uh, the battleships, warships, as well as the submarines. Although, it was more interesting when I was a child, but I don't think I don't think it's, <laughs> it's much fun now. There's all these people, they're, are they? I think they're raking seaweed. Boat tours as well. Get on a speedboat. They take you around. And, uh, yeah, you don't do anything. You just get on the boat. And they take you out for about five to ten minutes. Uh, I don't know how much that is, but I wouldn't waste my money on it. In the distance, you can see the Qingdao port. 
Texas. Yeah, I don't know why there's Mickey Mouse over here. It's gotta be some kind of copyright law. <laughs> that's weird. Anyway, that's the Qingdao port. I guess that's where all the money is made. to do on this path other than take photos and now we're approaching that's the pagoda I really don't know what it's for but it is beautiful some kind of announcements you gotta buy tickets inside. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that. There's a lot of merchants here who are selling. They're selling all these seashells and conks. A lot of rubbish. They're selling a lot of rubbish. It's not worth it. And, uh, they're selling strings of pearls for very cheap. Uh, the quality of pearls is obviously very shabby. Um, but I think they're still real pearls. I think they're still real pearls. They're also selling some turtles and stuff. Pets for very irresponsible children who will we'll probably lose them within a week. There's also fishing. So apparently my uncle told me that um, most of the seafood here in Qingdao is not local anymore, or at least not harvested from the sea, but farm grown. Because from I think from 2004, they stopped. Well, well the, they started to uh, disappear, and there's no more. There's no more seafood. Not not enough in abundance to feed the city anymore. So apparently, it's all it's all farm raised now. Which is a shame. It's a big shame because what's a port city with LC food, right? Okay, so I don't think I'll go in today. I just want to show you this uh, iconic landmark. Landmark was the word I was looking for. <laughs> and uh, the, that pagoda is the is pretty much the logo of Qingdao. It certainly it certainly is the logo of Qingdao beer, which is China's first beer. Um, I was going to tell you all this history about Qingdao around the 19, uh, around the late, late 1800s uh, and uh, early 1900s. It uh, was colonialized by the Germans and then through all these movements, including the May 4th movement, uh, seized by the Japanese, but then uh, taken back by the May 4th movement. But I don't think my mind's not there right now. So I can't think of everything. Anyway. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm done the uh, the little tour of John Shell. And uh, I'm going through the other pass to get through to the other side of the street. There's a bunch of a variety of shops here. Also selling rubbish. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Zhongshan Road and 
I need some shoes because right now I'm wearing these lower desert combat shoes. They're nice, but at night, you know, I'm at restaurants. It's a little weird, and I don't want to wear dress shoes because that's too formal. So I'm gonna see if I can get some sneakers. Um, that's a pretty tall order. I'm trying to find sneakers my size in Qingdao, but hopefully. I will have great success.